In this task, we are going to change root password and install Wireshark on Ubuntu. So we have to execute a command that is sudo passwd root sudo which allows a permitted user to execute a command as a super user passwd is command which is used to change the password and here root is a super user we want to change the root password so enter a new unix password then retype new unix password if both are correct then it change the password now login as a root by using the command su space hyphen space root then enter the password here we have logged in as a root now ne next task is to install the wireshark but before that one we must have to update all the packets by using one command that is apt get update here apt is a command line tool which helps us to install upgrade and remove packages apt means it is an advanced packaging tool now all the packets are get updated all the packages are get updated now next task is to install wireshark execute this command apt hyphen gate install wireshark wireshark is the name of the package which we want to install Now Wireshark is installed successfully. Next task is to run the Wireshark and capture the packets from the client server socket program. In this case, first login as a root. Then execute one command that is Wireshark. It opens the Wireshark software. Now choose the interface that is any which actually captures all the packets from all the interface. Then open two terminals. One terminal is for a server program and second terminal for the client program. Then execute gcc command which compiles server program that is gcc udp server.c then run the pro program by using dot slash a dot out command now Switch to the second terminal. First of all, compile client program by using command gcc udp client.c. Then compile the program. Now then execute the command. That is dot slash a dot out. Then send the data from client to server. That is data to send and second one send the data from server to the client data is received at the client side now check whether the wireshark has collected or captured both the packets or not these two packets are captured so this is the first packet which is sent from the client to the server. These are the two port numbers. Now this is the second packet which is 
used to send the data from the server to the client. That's why the source port number is 50005. Now we will verify that one. So just open the UDP server program. Just check out. This is the port number that is 50005. And here we have 50005 as a source port number. 50005. And this is the destination port number of the client. Check the IP address. The source IP address, IP address and destination IP address both are same because we have executed the program on the same machine. So execute one command that is IF config and check what is the IP address of the machine that is 10.0.2.15. 